Van D, a dynamic leader with decades of experience building companies and crushing sales. He's been there and done that. Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Van D. Inspiring audiences across the country to do it too. Here's Van. Well, hello, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to another Van D podcast. I'm so excited to be with you today. You know, we discuss my favorite topics with one goal in mind, to help you accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. But today we're going to talk about how big is your want to? That's what she said. Okay. How big is your want to? So asking the question, how big is your want to, is exactly the same as asking, how much do you want it? Maybe you want to be a better student, a better athlete, a better husband or wife. Maybe you want to be a better parent or child. The intensity of your want to will determine your success in any of those roles. However, today I am asking you to consider the question, How big is your want to in terms of what you want to achieve in your career? When I think of my career, I relate this question to how hungry am I? And if I'm hungry, I am going to succeed in how passionate I am about accomplishing everything I set out to do. So I ask myself all the time, how big is my want to? So just know this, there's no magic formula for achieving what you want. Instead, it's a combination. It's a combination of believing in yourself and believing that you deserve whatever your want is. So I challenge you to apply the following eight principles to ensure that your want to will be firmly embedded in your mind, in your heart, and your soul. So I'm inviting you right now to get a pad and pen because I really want you to write this down or just replay this as much as you want because this is really important. So here are my eight principles in asking yourself how big is your want. One is begin each day believing that something really, really good is going to happen to you. When you believe that good things are coming your way today, they are more likely to happen. Try to talk yourself in the mirror every morning like I do. I know it sounds weird, but I do. And telling you what to expect to happen in your life today. Don't be shy. Last time I checked, talking in the mirror isn't going to bite you. I like to look in the mirror in the morning and tell myself how productive I will be because it gets me fired up and motivated. Notice I didn't say I would like to be productive. I am already affirming I'm going to be productive. Talk to yourself in the mirror. Watch what happens if you make that kind of a ritual. So number one, begin each day believing that something really good is going to happen to you. Bring that in your universe and see what happens um, for each day. Okay. Number two, have the attitude that your destiny is calling you and that you will get there if you make the journey one day at a time. Just remember the affirmation. You don't have to be great to get started. You just have to get started to be great. This really holds true. Understand where you are today in life and what brought you to this point but never ever accept your current reality as your permanent condition. It's one step at a time. Do the best every day, the best you possibly can every day, one day at a time to move closer to what you want. Don't ever overwhelm yourself trying to look too far ahead. It'll confuse you, it'll overwhelm you, and you'll end up just running around in circles not getting anything done. So number two, have the attitude that your destiny is calling you and that you will get there if you make the journey one day at a time. Mm, Good coffee. Oh, Vanny likes his coffee. Number three, Never accept being average. I'm going to repeat that. 
Number three, never accept being average. Have you ever heard of a great success story where the main character was content to be average? Not likely. No one else can be as effective as you can in pushing yourself to pursue what you want. Your time is valuable. Don't waste it. Once again, your time is valuable. Don't waste it. Avoid spending too much time with less motivated people who are doing average things. I want to tell you something. One thing I've learned in my blessed career, reaching almost 40 years in business, actually 36, but who's counting? Success is contagious. And unfortunately, so is laziness and lack of motivation. Choose your friends and your involvements wisely. Stay away from people that are content being average or it's going to rub off on you. Just remember this. If you limit your wants, then you limit your life. All right. So what was that one again? Say it with me. Number three, never accept being average. Number four, think big, dream big, and better yet, act big. So I've always believed our thoughts are the prelude to reality. When you think big, like the person you want to be, you will eventually act that way and then become that person. I can't tell you how many times this works for me in my career. Think big, dream big, act big. Trust me, this really, really works. When you have free time, think about your future and envision what it will look like and how that affects you. If you dream big, you'll have a clear picture of where you want to go. If you act big by treating everyone you meet today and every day with the same consideration you would like to receive, it will happen much quicker in your life. Walk with a spring in your step and always have a confident smile. That's called acting big. So think big, dream big, and act big. That's my number four in my eight principles. Number five, recognize that your words are your reality. I'm going to repeat that. Recognize that your words are your reality. Speak highly of yourself and your abilities, and you will manifest greatness. I, I can't reiterate this enough. Speak highly of yourself, and you will manifest, great, manifest greatness. When you say things like, oh, I could never do that, or I'm not good enough, then you will not surpass your low expectations. I'll just tell you right now. You convince yourself you can't do that and you're not good enough, guess what? You're right. Always speak favorably about yourself with positive affirmations like, I can and I will. Remember, we are what we think we are, and we become who we want to become. Always, always remember you are your biggest cheerleader. So have these conversations with yourself. Speak highly of yourself, and you will manifest greatness. Just remember, my number five characteristic, recognize that your words are your reality. Speak highly of yourself and your abilities, and you will manifest greatness. Those of you that know me know I believe in manifesting what we want out of life with our thoughts. Okay, number six, believe that your success is on its way and that there's no better time than right now to believe in yourself. First of all, if you don't believe in yourself, pick up the phone and call me because I can help you get over that hurdle. As Napoleon Hill wrote in his famous, famous book, Think and Grow Rich, he said, if you can conceive it and believe it, then you can achieve it. 
I want to tell you something. I've lived by that. If you can conceive it and believe it, you will achieve it. The reverse is also true. If you don't believe in yourself, you can't expect anyone else to believe in you. Keep in mind that you have this God-given talent talent to shift your mindset today so that you can become the person that you want to be. Here's the cool thing about self-motivation. You can have a bad day, a bad week, a bad month, a bad year, a bad, bad life, and you can make the decision today. It's never too late to become who you are supposed to be and do the things you are supposed to do. Never forget that. Greet every day with the gratitude that you are alive, that you are in the form you're in. Gratitude will create all kinds of great things coming your way. So number six, believe that your success is on its way and there's no better time than right now to believe in yourself. Right this second. So number seven, I could spend all day with you on. Let me repeat that. I could spend all day with you on this one. Number seven, reduce the amount of negativity in your life. So this is just brief, but stay away from people who bring you down, ladies and gentlemen. People who want to see you fail. People who don't believe in you. Man, run from them. And don't feel bad about getting them out of your circle. They're not doing anything. I got people in my life that they would love it if I had a bad attitude. They would love it if I failed. They would love it if things were going wrong. I know you know people like that. Stay far away. Negativity is a poison. Let me repeat that. Negativity is a poison that will infect you unless you stay far away from it. And that can mean close friends. That can mean family members. That can mean anybody that's bringing negativity into your life. At the very least, reduce the amount of time you spend with these people and know what they stand for. Don't go in there expecting to learn anything except what you don't want to be like. I'll guarantee this, just like I guarantee everything I, I say to you. Your life will change once you make this decision. Now, I want to warn you, when you, choose to be a, when you choose to stay away from negative involvements, negative people, and negative surroundings, your life is going to get a little lonelier. I'm just going to tell you that. But I'd rather be a little lonelier and get rid of the negative than not be lonely and be around the wrong environment. Okay? Your life will change once you make this decision. So number seven is reduce the amount of negativity in your life. Last but not least of the eight characteristics to try and get your want to and Ask yourself, how big is your want to? Number eight, deeply believe with every fiber of your body and soul that nothing can stop you but you. You know, my mom used to say to me, God rest her soul, one of the greatest women on the planet. She used to say to me, honey, you are your own worst enemy. And I never really understood that. But man, throughout my life, Anything that didn't go well for me was my fault. Anything that went well for me was also because of me. So when she used to say, you are your own worst enemy, nothing can stop you but you, she's exactly right. Everyone had to start somewhere to get where they wanted to go, okay? So I started my career with $500 to my name. And I came from a family of teachers, so I didn't have, you know, where I can get on the phone and say, send money. I started my career with 500 bucks, so I had to constantly dig deep in my heart and soul to push and push and push myself to accomplish my goals. 
I had to have this attitude. I didn't read it in a Harvard School of Business manual or, or any motivational books. I had to believe in myself. I had to believe that there's nothing I can't do if I want it bad enough. How big is my want? Pretty darn big when you only have 500 bucks to your name. I could never have accomplished what I've accomplished in my life without, of course, the good Lord, but without firmly believing in myself and my abilities. So one of the things that did help me, besides believing in myself and my abilities, is I like to read about leaders and success stories of people that I admire, and I like to reflect on their inspiring success stories. Sometimes when you read about these success stories where they've started from nothing or they've changed their mindset, you will find their stories and yours are not so different. Remember, if there's one mindset that no one can ever take away from you, it is your awareness that you want something and you want it badly. So remember, number eight, deeply believe with every fiber of your body and soul that nothing can stop you but you. None of mine career accomplishments, ladies and gentlemen, None of my career accomplishments would have happened without me believing I could achieve them, without me visualizing where I want to be in my future, and refusing to accept any results except what I decided my results should be. You possess that same God-given ability. Throughout my life, I'm just telling you, throughout my life, I've had the privileges of meeting so many people who have achieved greatness. And I want to tell you why. Because they simply said they had a big want. Ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing you can't do. I hope you listen to this podcast over and over again on how big is your want. I'm so grateful that you spend time with me. So remember, please subscribe, rate, and review my podcast wherever you're getting your podcast. Thanks again. Have a great day. A Parkville Media Production.